These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here. Today is the day I think we're going to do the review for the Odin V2, you know, Sam, the Vapen Bogan, Vapors Cloud, Dovpo. This is the sequel follow-up to the wildly popular Odin V1, which... I still keep mine around. I still keep it within arm's reach because for years, this was like my go-to workhorse build station. Like everything that came into my office went on the Odin V1 every single time just because it was so reliable and it had a pretty good hand feel despite the like size of it. It was just a really reliable dual 21700, which even holding it now compared to the V2, it, it, it feels like it's twice the size, even though the V2 isn't that much smaller. Side by side, you can see how kind of big of a size different it is. The V2 just feels and looks so much more sleek, and it has a completely different battery compartment. The V1 had the trap door, which honestly, I had zero issues with. It always worked. The V2, here we go. There's the back door. You can use cooler looking batteries than these Ohm Life Ohm Techs. Battery sleds, clearly marked, branded. That was a 24 millimeter RDA with a beauty ring. This is the Asgard Mini V2, 24 millimeter with an, uh, a beauty ring. Leads me to believe you could probably get to like, I don't know, 26 millimeter topper on here. I'm just gonna put these not so super attractive Ohm Life Ohm runs in here. And I only say that because, you know, you can see the batteries through the back. So like some, some clear wraps, like if I dug out my clear wraps, they would look sick on here. You could get matchy with like the RDA that you put on top. I'm trying to get as matchy as I can with the green screen. I really like this display and I really like these buttons. They are a firm, clicky press. Got that bogan on there. Yeah, like I said, firm, firm, clicky press. Hold the middle button. We can get to the menu. Power, voltage, nickel, titanium, stainless steel. Can change the brightness. You can clear your puff counter in the stats. You can change color. Yes. <laughs> All the colors, even this weird dark purple, there's two different purples. All the colors honestly look rad, but obviously I got to go with the green and man, just hand feel for days. It just fits so comfortably in my hand. Kind of just hold it like this. I'm a bit of a thummy person with it, but it's so comfortable. Don't even care. USB-C on the bottom, I guess for charging, but realistically, I would recommend taking these batteries out for their own external charger every single time. Don't know why I did that. Just a little demonstration. I've been running mine in voltage mode just because I don't, I don't know, you know, I like it. Any chance I can to run voltage mode, I try to run voltage mode just because it reminds me of like that early 2011, 2012, when everything was wattage before, you know, the DNA chips showed up. It's been giving me honestly really great consistent power. This is a 0.17 dual coil here in the legal RDA from Indonesia. I've been running it at 3.9 volts, which roughly translates into about 89 watts. And it consistently gives me that 89 watts throughout the life of the battery. I literally cannot think of a, a, a single gripe with this Odin V2. The fit and finish is just so nice. I love those buttons. Maybe the door could be a little bit more secure, but honestly, you kind of have to pull it off. I haven't really drop tested it. The only the only times I've dropped it have been on like carpeting and the wood floor. I kind of feel like I need to take this outside for like a little bit of a drop test. I mean, I, I don't really want to be that guy, but I should go see how it does on like concrete, right? Now I'm not actually gonna like drop this from any substantial height onto concrete, but you know, I, I do use my devices by the pool frequently. And if I'm setting it down on concrete and it's maybe moving around a little bit and oh shit, fell over. I don't know what's gonna happen to the paint, you know? Oh fuck, eh, okay. I don't know, you know, or if it gets uh, knocked over and drug, maybe, maybe my dog drags it a little ways, okay. Uh, so yeah, there's, uh, there's going to be some scuffs if I drag it across the concrete on the bottom. I feel like this is maybe excessive wear and tear, but you know, could be a sign of the future with heavy use. The back panel didn't get it, but man, this part of metal that sticks out a little bit past the back door, that really got scratched badly. Uh, you know, I'll do, I feel like that is a little bit excessive. I really kind of scratched it around out there. I wouldn't, uh, normally do that. Like I kind of regret doing that right now and immediately thinking of 
how I can cover up these scratches because it just looks so slick and so cool. And honestly, the hand feel of this alone is worth the price of admission, I think. I don't know if it's perfect. Can I even, can I give this 10 banana stickers? It's, it's close. It's going to be damn close. Let's just call it 10 banana stickers for the Odin V2. Not a gripe to be found. Paint might be an issue in the distant future. I think like the Odin V1, this V2 is just gonna become my my workhorse building station. Everything that comes in is gonna end up on top of it. It's either that or it's just gonna live forever with a green screen and the green legal RDA on top because I kind of can't get enough of that either. <clears throat> I'm actually rambling now. This is the end of the video. I can't tell you where to get these or how much they cost, but I can say this. If you're a person who currently smokes combustible cigarettes, Now's the time to quit, now's the time to switch. Better living through science, better living through technology. I even like the textures that these like skeleton cutouts are on the back. Listen, nope, that's it, we're rambling. This is the end of the video. I can't tell you where to get these or how much they cost, but I can say this. If you are currently an adult cigarette smoker, listen, now's the time to quit, now's the time to switch. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market for you in the description of this video. I'm going to put links to Just Science and Just Education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free every single day. <laughs> it's like 10:30, and then I'm uh, just gonna smoke. So. In the description of this video, I'm going to have links. And I left that whole part there.